So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to balance a redox reaction in a basic environment. And so we're going to talk through the steps on how to approach that. And so the reaction is uh, ethanol, right, in a basic environment together with um, permanganate, right, so MnO4- minus to form the acetate ion, so CH3COO- minus and MnO2. So the way that we approach it is that we always want to write out what the two half reactions are, and we want to work from there. So the way that we can approach that is um, writing both of them out. So the first one I'm going to write out is going to be the ethanol reaction. So the ethanol reaction is CH3, CH2OH forms acetate, so CH3, COO minus in that case. Um, and then the other half reaction is MnO4 minus forms MnO2. And so um, what we can look at, uh, right, the first one that I'm going to just do is simply the ethanol reaction. And so looking at this right here, the first step that you always want to do in these cases is you want to balance out all of the non-hydrogen and non-oxygen atoms. And so in that case, that would be the carbons. And so we can see that we have two carbons here on the left and then two carbons here on the right. And so those are all balanced out. The next thing we want to do is we want to balance out the oxygens by adding a water or however many waters you need to to whatever side um, they're needed on. So we can see here on the left side, we only have one oxygen. Well, on the right side, we have two. So that means that what we need to do is we need to add an H2O to the reactant side. So that right there is balanced right now. So we have two oxygens on the left, two oxygens on the right. So then the next thing that we're going to do now is balance out the hydrogen atoms. And so to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to look at this right here, right? And we're going to add up the hydrogen. So we have one, two, five, seven, eight, right? So there's a total of eight hydrogens on the reactant side, but right now there's only three hydrogens on the product side. And so to balance that out, what we do is we throw in five protons, right? It's five H plus. Now that right there balances out the equation, right? So it's the exact same steps for the most part that we would do in an acidic uh, environment. The next step though, is the one where we switch it to a basic environment. So to do that, what we do is do a neutralization reaction where we essentially add just as many equivalents of OH minus to both sides as we need to neutralize the H plus on whichever side it exists, right? So in this case right here, we're gonna be adding five OH minuses to both sides. And so what we get is five OH minus plus H2O plus ethanol forms CH3COO minus plus 5H plus plus 5OH minus in this case right here, right? So we have this right here. So now the H plus and the OH minus, they're gonna neutralize each other and they're gonna turn into H2O. So we do that now and we just write out everything but simply neutralizing these two guys right here. So what we get is 5OH minus plus H2O plus CH3, CH2, OH, forms CH3, COO minus, plus five H2O, All right? So that right there is our um, neutralized system. So what we can do is now we can balance out the, the water molecules, right? So we have one here on the reactant side, we have one on the product side, and so the one on the reactant side can get canceled out. And this goes from being five to being four. So we have that right there set up now. And so then the final thing that we would want to do in this specific case right here is now balance out the charges. So if we look at the the pro, sorry at the reactant side here on the left side, right, we have five negative charges from the OH minus. On the product side, we only have one negative charge from the acetate ion. So what we want to do is we want to throw in four electrons on the product side, right? So we're, we're producing four electrons in this case. Um, and what we can do with now is just like simply, you know, clean that up a little bit and make it look a little bit prettier. And I'm just gonna erase it to, to save space. Um, right, but then this right here is the balanced half reaction for the ethanol reaction. The next thing we wanna do is now we wanna do this other one, right, the, the permanganate, permanganate um, reaction. So I'm gonna switch colors for that one. So that's, again, just simply gonna be MnO4 minus forms MnO2, right? And so we do the exact same process that we had just done in terms of figuring out how to balance that, that half reaction. So the MnO4 minus, right, MnO2, balance the non-oxygen, non-hydrogen atoms first, right? So there's one manganese on the left, one manganese on the right. That's taken care of. Step two, 
balance out the oxygens by adding waters as necessary. So we have four oxygens on the left. We only have two on the right, so we're going to want to add two H2O in that case. So we add that two H2O. The next thing we're going to do is want to balance out the hydrogen atoms. So um, we do that, right? There's none right now on the left. There's four on the right. So we're going to add four H plus to our system, right? So we have four H plus right here. So now uh, that we have all of these balanced out, what we're going to do next is we're going to add then the OH minus to our system, right? To, to, to neutralize the H plus and then, and then add that, right? So we're going to be adding four OH minus to both the reactant and the product side, right? So there's going to be four OH minus on the product side and then four OH minus on the reactant side. And so the 4OH minus and the 4H plus, right, they're going to neutralize and form water. And so what we're going to then have is 4H2O plus MnO4 minus forms MnO2 plus 2H2O plus 4OH minus, right? And so now the waters can cancel out, right? So there's two on the product side, there's four on the reactant side. So what that just simply tells us is that the water on the product side is going to disappear, right? And we're only going to have two water molecules on the reactant side in that case. So now we have this part done. And so the last thing we need to do is we need to balance out the charges. So right now, the way it looks is we only have one negative charge on the reactant side, but we have four negative charges on the product side. So we have to add three electrons into our system, right? And that also makes sense, right? So if we, if we look at what the oxidation state is for the manganese, right, and the MnO4 minus molecule, right, it has a charge of seven, whereas in the case of the MnO2, right, it has a charge of four. So that's telling us that we're gonna have to throw in three extra electrons uh, to do that uh, um, redox reaction. And so that right there, right, is the balanced, you know, half reaction for, for the manganese one. So if we add everything together, I'm gonna switch to purple here, um, and we add all of that up, what we get is, oh, sorry, before I add it all up, right, we have to make sure that we're balancing out the electrons and so we have four electrons that are being produced in the ethanol reaction, but we only have three being consumed by the manganese one. So that means that in the case of the ethanol one, right, we're gonna have to multiply that by three. Whereas in the case of the manganese uh, reaction right here, right, we're gonna have to multiply everything by four for everything to balance out in that case. And so in that case, right, what we're gonna have is 12 electrons plus eight H2O plus four MnO4 minus plus 15 OH minus, right? So now I'm pulling that from the from the ethanol reaction plus three ethanol molecules, CH3, CH2OH. And then that's gonna form three acetate molecules plus 12 H2O molecules plus 12 electrons plus four MnO2 plus 16 OH minus, right? And so that right there is both of those half reactions added together. Um, and so now we can have things start to cancel out, right? So we have the 12 electrons on both sides are gonna cancel out, right? So we have eight water molecules on our, uh, our reactant side. We have 12 here on our product side. So the eight are gonna be gone. That 12 is getting reduced down to four. Next, right, the MnO4 minus, we don't have to touch, right, because there's none there on the product side. 15 OH minus, 16 OH minus, right, so all of it's gonna be removed out of the reactant side. We're only gonna be left one, with one on the product side. And then we have our um, ethanol and then our acetate right there that's left, right? And so now we can just write out our cleaned up reaction, right? And so the cleaned up reaction is four MnO4 minus, plus three CH3, CH2, OH forms three CH3, COO minus plus four H2O plus four MnO2 plus OH minus, right? And so that's our balanced reaction right there. And so we can prove that to ourselves, right? By looking at it. And so the first thing we can look at is the charges and so we can see that we have four negative charges from the um, MnO4 minus 
on the reactant side, and then we have a total of four negative charges on the product side, where three are coming from the acetate ion and one is coming from the OH minus. Next, right, we can see that we have four manganese atoms, four manganese atoms. Right, if we just simply break things down and look at CH, the CH3 group right here, CH3C group, right, we can see that we have three and three right there. Next thing we want to do is we want to add up all of the oxygens, and so we're going to see that we have 19 on the reactant side, right, so we have 16 from here, three from here, and then over here, right, we have a total of six, four, eight, one, right, so that comes out to 19 oxygens, 19 oxygens, and then same thing if we do look at the hydrogen atoms, right, we have three right here, and then over here, right, what we can see is, oh, sorry, it's not three. It's three times three, right? So it's nine hydrogens, sorry, on the reactant side. And then on the product side, right, what we have is eight plus one right there. Sorry, we have nine hydrogens, nine hydrogens. And that's how you balance a redox reaction in a basic environment.